Hi everybody, this is your reading for Thursday the 21st of December. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. Okay, so what have we got? We have the Eight of Chalices in Reverse. Then we have the Six of Wands. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the Eight of Chalices in this case is um, about walking away from something that's really positive. And in this deck, it's from the perspective of the thing that's being left behind. So usually it's these eight cups and someone in a red cloak walking away. It's about leaving behind really good things like a wonderful relationship to pursue bigger and better things because you feel guided and you feel like your passions and your desires are telling you to leave these things behind because there's something out there in the world that's important for you to pursue. So it makes sense to leave something behind that is very good. So like a wonderful loving relationship here in this case. The card is in reverse. So there's no sense of being pulled away from anything. What you do focus on is the good things that are in your life and you put your energy and your passions and your desires into making those even more positive. So for instance, because this I've chosen this deck for a reason, I mean, I was guided to use the Wheel of the Year Tarot for today. And it just so happens that in this deck, they have made this um, about relationships. So what's really positive is that if you put your energy into a relationship, a romantic relationship, or a relationship with a colleague or a friend or family members, that if you put the emotional work in, you'll get out a really positive emotional response and you can make that relationship better and more positive. The next card is the Six of Wands in reverse. And the Six of Wands in this case is a woman who has created something wonderful and she's being celebrated. So let's say she is um, a musician and um, she comes from a really small town, but she followed her dream and she got a record deal and she's recorded an album and it's gone platinum and she's super successful and she's come back to her hometown and everyone's so happy for her because she's brought the town into the public and everyone now knows where she's from and the town has tourists and she's helped everyone by being so successful. And everyone's just happy, so they celebrate the fact that she pursued her dream, ones being about life purpose and passions, and they're honoring her for that. It's in reverse, so this is not the day to go your own way, so to speak, to pursue your own passions, to, to get the record deal, to put yourself out there in terms of what you're doing yourself. The day is much more about putting your energy into your relationships and focusing on other people, being nurturing, being sensitive, being compassionate to what other people may be going through and giving of yourself emotionally. And if you give of yourself emotionally and if you kind of pay attention to what other people are going through and you're there for them, you can really end up building something wonderful and long-term and permanent. You know, little gestures can go a long way. So if you're, if you have a friend and um, they've achieved something in their life or it's their birthday or something like that, and you decide not to just send a text saying, happy birthday, have a great day, but you decide to really make an effort and you say, I'm going to send this person some flowers, you know, and really just celebrate them on their birthday. Or if um, someone in your family has always been there for you and has always been supportive and there's no real special occasion, but you just think of them today and you're grateful for everything they've done for you and you just decide to pay them a visit and to say, do you know what, I'm super, super grateful that you've always been so supportive of me and don't think that I've forgotten about that. I really appreciate it. I really value the contribution you've made to my life then on this day, by making a gesture like that, and to be honest, making a gesture like that on any day is always going to be welcome. And I guarantee you, the person receiving that gesture 
is never going to forget your kindness. When what they tell people, I remember I used to work many years ago, I used to work in, in, um, in finance and something they, we had a, a professional development course or something like that. And one of the guys, he was saying, when you're talking to a customer or a client or something like that, make sure that you use their name as often as possible because people love hearing their own name. <laughs> And it's really funny if tr I tried it and I, I used the person's name a couple of times and they just warmed up to me like I'd never seen before. People like little gestures like that go such a long way. And if there is someone who you really care about in your life today and you don't just make the whole day about yourself and you you make this little gesture, maybe you bring someone a bottle of wine and just say, thank you for being such a good friend. I guarantee you that friend will remember that bottle of wine in 10 years from now because those gestures, like someone saying your name, really, really just give you that sense of being appreciated and it gives you a sense of warmth and it gives you a sense of, oh my God, this person is paying attention to me and is acknowledging that I've done nice things for them. And, you know, it, it's, it's like appealing to people's vanity in a way, but there's nothing wrong with saying thank you and there's nothing wrong with with making a gesture and making someone feel good and just appreciate uh, and just expressing your appreciation. And this card, the 10 of pentacles is about long-term permanence, consistency, wealth, abundance, prosperity, putting down roots, being part of a community having finances in a sense that you can rely on them, that you don't have to worry about money anymore. And again, it has to do with relationships in this deck. So this is a way today to really cement your relationships and to make them much more permanent and to really lock down a relationship so that someone who's a friend can become family or that someone who is in your life, you do something for them and you build a bond that is unbreakable and that's going to be permanent and you do something that's going to just bring that person on your side and never forget the nice thing you did for them. I mean, I remember um, a friend of mine um, sent me flowers on my birthday a couple of years ago, I remember, and no one had ever sent me flowers before. Because, I mean, in our society, our culture, you know, you don't send men flowers, do you? you? It's just not something that people think of. And no one had ever done that for me. And I came into the house and the flowers were wait waiting for me. And I was just so moved by that. And it was just, I think for her, it didn't really mean anything because she does that a lot. But for me, it was such a little gesture. And for, no, for, for her, it was a little gesture. For me, it meant so much. I felt so valued. I felt so appreciated that to this day, that friend of mine can do no wrong. So even when she flakes out on me or she um, says something that's not particularly sensitive or um, puts her foot in it or whatever, I let that go because of that one gesture. And I know she really cares about me. And that really bonded and made that friendship unbreakable as far as I'm concerned. So it's about taking those opportunities. And today is really an opportunity where you can make a friend for life or you can take a friendship to the next level and really kind of cement that relationship in. We've also got this gateway doorway here. So any gate cards in the tarot always indicate an opportunity coming out of something that you're doing. So today you're cementing your relationships that will open a doorway into something even better. So because the relationship, for instance, is now much stronger, they share some secret with you, which then benefits you in your life, for instance. Okay. So being generous and being kind and letting someone know that you love and care about them today is wonderful for them, but it's also going to serve you in some way because we have this gate here and everyone's a winner. So it's a win-win all round. Number wise, we've got eight and six is 14. 
and 10 is 24. 2 and 4 is 6, and 6 is a temporary opportunity. It's a window of opportunity. So this doesn't happen every day. So you have a chance here. There's a space and time to really cement this relationship. Take that opportunity. It's going to serve you for years and years to come, like me and my friend, for instance. So just remember these two and how happy they are. <laughs> Sharing wine and enjoying themselves and just being together. And yeah. So it's not about being selfish. It's really about taking all of that loving energy and giving it to someone else, being selfless. So have a fabulous day. If you would like a private reading with me, and please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. And I use the tarot and numerology and astrology in my readings. And the astrology in particular is a picture of, is a snapshot of the sky at the moment you were born. And it's really a blueprint of your soul. It shows me why you've come into this lifetime, what you're good at when it comes to work, what your strengths and weaknesses are. And I can also look at what's coming up for you in future by using the astrology and the tarot in all aspects of life. So in your love life, in terms of your finances, your friendships, moving, buying and selling things, if you have any questions on compatibility, I can look at that with another person or a country. So if you're interested in any of those questions or you have questions that you'd like answered, then just get in touch with me for a private reading. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.